I want to continue on with our command line examples by showing you another command line task that you will encounter frequently, and that is getting a entire folder of files uploaded to Amazon S3. And when I upload that folder, I want the files not only in the root folder, but in all nested subfolders uploaded as well. So if you're following along, I am continuing with the files that I extracted in my CLI-demo directory on my local computer. And this is the contents of what is in that local folder. I want to get all of these files uploaded into my S3 bucket. And you recall, I have this bucket a-cli-demo that I want to upload all of these files into. And let's see how we can perform that upload. And thanks for following along. I'm sure you're doing an awesome job. The command that I want to use is again, it's the copy command. So AWS S3 CP, and then my source is going to be dot for my current working directory. And then my destination is going to be S3 colon forward slash forward slash A dash CLI dash demo. And then on the end, I want to add this dash recursive option. And what this does is it recursively uploads all files in my current working folder to Amazon S3. So let's just run this. We can see all the files that it uploaded are listed here. And if I just double check my S3 bucket with the ls command, then what I see is I have docs and images and my file one. If I want to see every file listed in all subfolders that are nested within my bucket, I can add on the recursive option to my ls command. And I can see I have all of my files uploaded. So that's how you can upload files in bulk to a bucket. Well, another scenario that you might encounter is you might have a bucket with you know, existing files already in it, and you want to upload from your folder on your local computer, but you want to have those uploaded into a subfolder into a bucket in Amazon S3. Well, how do we accomplish that? Well, again, we are going to use our copy command and I'm going to cycle back up to this command using my up arrow key. And so previously I just had my bucket name but I could append on here a subfolder. So I will just call this subfolder one and that will be my destination. And again, I need the recursive option. And when I run that, it lists the files that I have uploaded. And now let's go back to our list command. So I'm now going to list the contents of my subfolder in acli-demo simply by adding on the subfolder to my S3 path. And I use the recursive option because I want to see everything. And I can see that I have subfolder file one, subfolder docs, subfolder images. And I would like to point out just as a reminder, remember that when you see folders in Amazon S3, they are not physical folders, but they are logical folders that are represented as part of the key name by being prefixed onto the beginning. So my file one dot text, the entire object key would be this subfolder one forward slash file one dot txt. So that's how you would upload all the files from a folder on your local computer to Amazon S3. Thank you for joining me in this short video. If you would like to learn more about Amazon S3, then be sure to check out my AWS Amazon S3 Mastery Bootcamp on Udemy. In that course, I dive deeper into all the things that you can do with the command line tools, as well as covering other topics, such as how to secure your data with security policies, cross-region replication, versioning, encryption, and lots of other fun stuff. If you do check that out, be sure to use the code shown at the bottom of your screen. And there is a direct link in the description if you want to check that out. Thanks for watching and hope to see you there.